Hey guys, welcome back. So just before we get started, a few people have had um, some questions about why I would list an item for five or ten dollars. Uh, there, there are a couple things to this. First of all, a lot of the items I get for free, or I get in lots where they just I just kind of get them. I don't necessarily seek them out. Many of these items sell very quickly. It's two minutes to um, list the item, two minutes to ship. If I can make a five dollar profit on an item, it's personally worth it for me. I understand it's not worth it for everybody. Okay. Um, if you're paying twenty dollars for an item and you're only getting forty, and I get an item for free, but I'm getting eighteen dollars, and I get that money within 24 hours I'm probably making more money depending on you know the cost of the shipping and other things that are going on so the other thing is that a lot of these items are being sold as bundles so people often go in and buy you know four or five dollar items so that they can maximize their shipping so that part of it you don't actually see um, so I understand that um, if you don't want to buy or list an item for five or ten dollars, just don't do it. It's not a big deal. Okay, not all of us have that luxury. I live in a town of three thousand people, and um, you kind of get what you get. Uh, so this is an antique pot scrubber. Uh, it, it's unassuming, um, but it, it did go for thirty-two dollars and thirty cents. Uh, when you see this chain link type stuff, I, I didn't actually know what it was and, and oftentimes when I don't recognize something it, as somebody that's been doing this for 20 years um, I will I will pick it up because uh, it's a learning opportunity and it's probably a rare item if, um, if, if I don't know what it is uh, I, I did want $20 for this I think I took an offer for 10 um, this seafoam green uh, is a rare color. It is made in Italy. Um, so these progresses can be good, although I have picked some stuff up that did not go for much. So don't don't pay up for it, 50 cents at the most. This sold within about 24 hours. Um, I did get it as part of a dollar a bag sale. Um, and it was quite nice. Um, did get $18 plus shipping. Um, it was in decent shape. Um, we're probably going to do a, a, a video on the Hawthorne Village line. I didn't realize that that was Thomas Kincaid stuff. Uh, I, I did want 20. Somebody offered me 10. I went ahead and took that because uh, this is not a particularly rare item. It generally holds the value. I've had trouble making sales. So um, again, sometimes the 5 and $10 items are all that sells in the bad economy. Um, when you see these leather wallets, I believe that they're for checkbooks. So when it is for a checkbook, you're also going to include the word secretary. That is a word that was used to describe checkbook wallets um, in the 70s and 80s, I believe. Uh, so people that still write checks, we had talked about this before. I told you there will be someone that comes along and buys this. Um, it was kind of neat. It had like an acorn design on it, and it was by a... Um, Cal local California company the word Buffalo was in the name I can't quite remember um, I don't know why somebody would spend money on a small paring knife but they frequently do I think that people just kind of get used to certain tools and then they will go and look for them when they break um, or maybe the vintage wooden handle items are just but it was actually quite a nice piece of metal but you know 650 plus shipping it takes no time to ship a small uh, four ounce knife like that uh, this is something I wouldn't have picked up intentionally I just kind of had it as an extra I do like to make this type of stuff available to people who need um, to complete their collections or just uh, need replacements but I did take an offer for seven dollars and um, those are paid for this is uh so the echo um it, it, can bottle opener corkscrew whatever the the retractable corkscrew is the word that you want to have in your description for this it's generally about a ten dollar item i went ahead and took 888 uh, sometimes i will do that to be first and move my stuff um small butcher cleaver with a hang hole um taiwan probably 80s went for ten dollars and uh, again it's no work to ship that uh, ten dollars for a pampered chef uh offset spatula i believe it's vintage 
since it says Taiwan on there, but I'm not sure. I think I might have took an offer for five dollars. It's not a particularly good item. Um, again, these metal measuring cups are worth about five dollars, and again, this sold as part of a bundle, so I did make more. Same thing here. Um, I think I did get ten dollars for these sold as part of a bundle. Um, you want to keep your eye out for this shape of kitchen tool. It is a milk bottle opener, and depending on what it says right here, like this one said Dairy Mart Farms, um, that will determine what the value is, but you should be able to get at least $9.99. I, I don't know if we can... I don't know if there's any milk bottles that use this anymore. Um, so I, I'm assuming it's just collectible, but I'm not sure. Uh, th this is a common item, but it is... Uh, I think it did take a while to sell. I think I only got $5 for it, but this is the type of keywords that you want to use. Um, it's a decent, you know... <laughs> cheese spreader I don't know I don't understand why somebody just wouldn't use a butter knife I personally would not go out of my way to buy something like that um, so this is a little clip you put your cigarette in there and it's called a roach clip uh, I thought that I could get a lot more for this this is kind of like a polymer plastic uh, little pineapple I only got five dollars for it so um, you know I got it for free um, but yeah, um, then there was a Chef Craft uh, knife. I assuming that's a good brand. I think it sold as part of a bundle, and um, and then this uh, France citrus zester. I, I wish we could get a better picture of that. Um, and deco zest, and I think it only went for five dollars that you found this video informative things are not selling for much right now during the down economy um, but I think that you can see how these add up until next time we'll see you guys on the next video